Hey ladies and gentlemen, now it is time for our first of our fiber identification tests today, the flame test. Now remember the things that we're actually going to be observing today. We're going to observe the fiber as it approaches the flame. See what happens. Does it curl away? Does it melt? Does it ignite? That sort of thing. We're going to observe the fiber once it's it's been put into the flame. See what happens. Does it catch fire? Does it burn all the way back? Does it catch fire and then go out? Does it just melt? Does nothing happen? And then finally we have to figure out, okay, you gotta look at the, the residue. What, is, what does the ash look like? Is there any residue? Is it plasticky? Is it hard? Just like that. Assisting me today are James, Bridget, and Liam. Notice they are all wearing their safety goggles for this experiment. <laughs> Thank you for the demonstration, James. All right, so our first fiber from our multi-fiber fabric. So this is this is our multi-fiber fabric once again. So this is what it looks like. We have acetate, cotton, nylon, silk, viscose, and wool. So this is literally multiple types of fiber in the same fabric itself. These are our known fibers. We're going to compare our unknown fibers to. So we're gonna start with acetate. I've already teased a thread of acetate out of the fiber and we just need to get a nice close view of our flame for this part of the experiment so there we have our flame and James behind yes indeed it is as I said pajama day all right so we want to get our, our fiber and we just want to very slowly approach the flame with it and see what happens so if you look closely as the acetate approaches the flame it kind of melts away from the flame itself and melts back along the, the length of it. Now, let us see what happens. So that, that's what you'd record on your data sheets if we were actually doing the lab. It melts away from the flame. Now, for this part, we're actually going to plunge the fiber directly into the flame and see what happens. So you notice it ignites and it burns back along the length of the fiber. So once again, we're gonna write down ignites and then burns back along the length of the fiber. Finally, we're gonna do the last part is we are going to look at the residue in our little uh, watch glass here. And so I did some practice runs beforehand. So if we look at the residue itself, um, if you feel it, you wanna feel it and roll it between your fingers, it kinda of turns into like a, a black kind of plastic type substance. The residue itself so it's like a black plastic and you can see it kind of balled up when you looked at the flame so that that was acetate let's let's do something else also just for a little bit of comparison so this time we're going to look at cotton so this is our cotton fibers we'll see if that reacts in any way that's different from our from our acetate so once again we're going to approach the flame and you notice as soon as we approach the flame the cotton ignited, quite literally ignited and burned back along the length of the fiber. So let's, let's see that again, that was, that, was, that was pretty interesting. So as we watch carefully, you'll notice I'm just approaching the flame, not even getting all that close. And as soon as we get anywhere near it, boom ignites and burns back away along the length of the fiber. So obviously if we plunge the cotton fiber into the flame, it's gonna ignite and burn along the length of the fiber. That's gonna be our observations. Let's look at our residue. So just kind of put this into our, our little watch glass. And if you look closely, there's really no residue left on the fiber. No ash, no nothing. It just burns up completely. So, my kids and I are going to do this for the rest of the fibers, but you have a, a good idea of, of the sort of procedure that we would be following had we actually been in lab.